There is nothing that beats the view of Tennessee's landscape from up in the sky. And we've seen it from biplanes, from blimps, experimental aircraft, you name it. But those things have one little drawback, the noise. Gretchen Bates is going to show us why the quiet, open air experience of a hot air balloon is such a great way to lift your spirits. Now, the occasion is a festival at Pellissippi State near Knoxville. For over 200 years now, we've been beguiled by balloons. Sure, there are faster, more efficient ways to travel, but hot air ballooning isn't about getting from point A to point B. As a matter of fact, there's no guarantee you'll even get to point B. For a balloonist like Jim Hendershot, it's all about the serenity of sailing across the sky. Once you're in the air, then there's no noise at all. But when you can sit and just cruise along and fly over like a pond like this, and then just touch the burner, and then you can hear everything, you'd be amazed. The only thing you can't shut up is a dog. A dog will bark at a balloon no matter what. But you can actually talk to horses and cows, and you can settle them down as you go through. And, uh, but you go over like, a, like the woods back here, you can kick deer up. You know, and then of course it's kind of cool coming across, you know, you fly in and over those trees over here and you see a pond like this and you can make it come down, just the control of it, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's a very family oriented thing too. And families have been coming here for years, drawn to the Pellissippi State Community College campus by their love of balloons and a good time. Pat Myers is the festival director. Back in the 90s, WOKI used to hold the festival on our grounds, but simply it was just the balloons getting together from all over and they would fly. They didn't have food, they didn't have arts and crafts, they didn't have entertainment. So we have built a whole festival around these hot air balloon pilots. That festival has grown by leaps and bounds over the years. It's become a Knoxville tradition, drawing thousands to the campus to enjoy the festivities, the fabulous fall weather, and of course, the stars of the show. This year we have 21, so we're blessed to have our 21, and the majority of them have been with us since the very first festival. It's our signature fundraiser for the college, but even more so, it has been a phenomenal friend raiser. I think more people have gotten to realize who we are that much better. And it's a time for us to invite the community, come to Pellissippi State and get to know us. One of the most popular activities at the festival is the tethered balloon ride. Tethered because once you're up, up and away, there's no telling where that away might be. You take all these balloons off here tonight, you'll have them going it this way, this way, you know, and at 50 feet, one will go this way, 100 feet, one will go this way. So you kind of remember where that steerage is as you come back through it, and you hope it's there, and that's how you go you to the target. You find the direction of the wind. Yeah, just... yeah. I mean, a lot of them, a lot of the competition will use uh, GPS now to pinpoint the coordinate. What we do is basically take a, a party balloon thing and put a balloon up and fill it with helium and take it off and get a compass reading and say, hey, that's the direction we're going. And, and then, then we try to go to the target like wow. that. So, so that's, that's the dairy. Yeah, uh, that's uh, <laughs> But again, as I said, you don't have any steerage at all. So right. the other than you, you fly with the wind. So when you, people ask me how far you go, I say, well, if the winds are blowing five miles an hour, you're gonna go five miles. That's all you, that's all you have, so. <laughs> Jim and the other balloonists also have a great time sharing their obsession for flight with onlookers and each other. It, it's just enjoyable, as I said, it, you get like 25, 25 balloons out here and you get four to five people crewing and, and you know, what do you have? You have somewhat of a party, you know, and, and you know, as I said, we get together probably six times, seven times a year like this and you can pick up conversations 
I could leave you tomorrow and I could see you next year up here and we'd pick up the conversation just like that. It was just, I mean, that's just what balloonists do. And so, as night falls on the Pellissippi State campus, the party really gets started. Everyone loves the balloon glow. Across the pond, they will all inflate. They start to shoot propane, that gas, up into the balloon envelope. And that causes a glow or a lighting. So when they stand up, we turn the music on, and they, they actually dance to the music. They flash and they burn and they, they just, it's wonderful. By the light of day or the glow at night, this balloon festival is out of sight.